sensational. Hello and welcome to the 2011 Australian Open Countdown. If you're tennis fans like us, if you're a fan of the Australian Open, this is the show for you. Pete, we're certainly getting close. We are. It's very exciting. My favourite sporting event for the year is less than 90 days away. I can't wait. Well, certainly shaping that way. We're near. We're close. The countdown is on. Coming up today, we start the countdown to Australian Open 2011. A look behind the scenes at the AO launch and a chat with two Aussie tennis legends. Andy extracts more revenge on Roger in Shanghai. Caroline becomes a contender for her first major title. Plus, Adrian Franklin takes the AO Challenge. All that and more coming up on the Australian Open Countdown. Well, Pete, first we kick it off with a look back at the Australian Open 2011 launch, a spectacular morning at High Sense Arena. You never know quite what to expect with these launches. They keep getting bigger and better every year, and as we were ushered into the loading dock of High Sense Arena, well, it was just amazing. Plenty of announcements come out of the day as well. There's been an increase in prize money, the big chance of a Rafa Slam, which I'm very much looking forward to. And also, for the first time, there have been replica trophies made that the players can take home if they happen to win the final. And two that did take them home many years ago were two legends that are on hand of Australian tennis, and we caught up with both of them. I think it's just going to be a great tournament because, um, you know, we have... You know, great players coming here. Um, compared to the days that I played, I think you, there are more players worldwide now. To be here for this uh, opening ceremony was, was quite uh, really very enjoyable. Well, nine months is a long time in tennis. Roger might have beaten Andy here at the Australian Open earlier this year, but since then the Scotsman has had his measure. I played some good tennis and he um, also made a couple of mistakes. So, you know, it was it was one of the best matches I played against him. Um, and yeah, obviously the week as a whole was one of the best I've had on the tour. And great to see an Australian Open finalist return to the winner's list last week. Yeah, Anna Ivanovic getting the job done in Linz. 47 minutes over Paddy Schneider in straight sets. Good to see her get a little bit of confidence back. 2010 hasn't been her year, but I'm sure she'll be looking forward to a big 2011. Well, Roger Federer certainly knows what it takes to win the Australian Open. Who else does? A Grand Slam champion possesses Herculean qualities, extraordinary strength, gladiatorial valor, endurance, stamina, belief, vision, Inspiration, power, passion, force, will. 128 players start out to win a Grand Slam. Only one will succeed. Man, woman. This is epic theatre. An odyssey not for the faint heart. A playground for giants. What does it take? to win the Australian Open. Now let's get this straight. To win a Grand Slam, you have to be 10 foot tall and strong as an ox. Oh, maybe not. So many leading contenders for Australian Open 2011 on the AO Countdown in coming weeks. We'll look at all of them. Yes, Brett, the top 100 men and women coming down. Maybe a cloud over Agnieszka Radwanska, but still quality fields. And one player we're looking at that will be in title contention is the number one women's player in the world, Caroline Wozniacki. An ultra-consistent season, picked up a couple of titles. She'll be here in the title race come January. Well, the experts agree. Pete Caroline Wozniacki will be a leading contender for Australian Open 2011. She's made big inroads, I think she's a fitter, stronger girl, I think she's serving better and I think she's working hard to strive for a bit more power and close out a few more points rather than just be the counter puncher. So I think she's young, a young girl turned pro at 15, I think she's only 20 years of age. I think just give her a few more years and uh, she'll certainly be threatening for a few more majors. Every year we like to make the Australian Open bigger and better and 2011 is no different. First up, let's find out about the AO Challenge. The AO Challenge gives you guys the chance to win prizes in the lead up to and during the event. 
One of our experts, like Daniel, will post a new challenge every Monday on our Australian Open Facebook page. We might ask you to write a poem. Or name all the legends in Garden Square. Catch a hundred tennis balls. Or film your best trick shot. The best entry each week will win a great prize. There will also be a special AO challenge in the Australian Open program giving you the chance to win finals tickets. So if you love Facebook, if you love tennis, and if you love the Australian Open, you'll definitely love the AO challenge. Great work by Adrian Franklin. He's going to be continuing over the coming weeks to explore all the new initiatives here at the 2011 Australian Open. And Brett, I think we passed the audition. We'll be back as well, but to keep in touch with what's happening at Australian Open 2011, sign up to Twitter, find us at Australian Open, and also on Facebook to get all the latest Australian Open news. Thanks for joining us, Brett Phillips and Peter Mercado, as we count down to Australian Open 2011.